say when you have a, a young child that was sexually assaulted by their special needs teacher and you don't have any evidence of this happening at a public school with this person prior to this, do you have to file a government claim? Can you file a lawsuit? What do you have to prove? Do you have to prove notice? How does that work? So if you have a situation where there's a teacher that doesn't have a his documented history, uh, it's best to do your investigation. And the best place to start is your own parents and what they know. And the child usually comes home, even with special needs, and their behavior changes where they are more withdrawn, where they're crying, where they're screaming when their parents taking them to school. So parents start to sense that something's wrong. There's usually aides in the classroom or other parents that have noticed inappropriate things. So you just got to talk to people to build the notice if, if there's no prior complaint. But again, there's the duty to supervise in the public school setting. So if yeah, so tell us about that. What what is the duty to supervise? How does that play out? And is it the same as public versus private? Well, in terms of private, it's the negligent standard of care in terms of what a reasonable other school would be doing to supervise. But in the public school setting, you can't just let an autistic child go to the bathroom by themselves or go into the bathroom with an adult. There are rules in place that where abuse can occur because it's behind closed doors or it's around the corner and affordable, there is a duty to always supervise the children, even on recess and throughout the school premises. So that's where I really have, over the last few years, pled mandatory duties under Government Code 815.6 for failure to supervise. Because you always gotta know where the children is, child is, and you always have to know where the adults are too.